Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching NDTV. Congress MP Rahul Gandhi today filed his nomination from Wayanad, a constituency that elected him as a member of parliament in the last general elections. He said he was honored to be an MP from Wayanad, even as the BJP here accused him of running away from a Amethi that used to be the Congress family bastion. Meanwhile, CPI Lok Sabha candidate from Wayanad, Annie Raja, also filed her nomination. Remember that the CPI and the Congress are partners in the opposition India bloc. The two parties are fierce contenders in Kerala, with both parties pitting their strongest candidates against each other. Now, Rahul's focus on the south of India is not new. From starting the Bharat Jodo Yatra from Kanyakumari to the Congress party forming governments in Telangana and Karnataka, many say that it is the south of India that bears hope for the Congress party. But will the Gandhi family give up its family bastions of Amethi and Raibareli? What would that mean for the party's prospects and the future of the party in Hindi-speaking states? And is the Congress party actually gaining strength in the south of India? Or is it too dependent on regional allies? What does this mean for the BJP that is also eyeing the south? That's what we discussed tonight. Joining us is a panel of experts. But first, let's look at some reactions. As I said, I said, I said, I said, all, the all the people of Wayanad, regardless, regardless of whether, 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 whether you are from the UDF, 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 UDF or from the LDF, 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 I have a relationship with you. You are all my family members. We might disagree on our ideology, but we agree that we have a tremendous relationship with each other. I have received love and affection. I treat you and think of you the same way I think of my little sister Priyanka over here that if we have a government in Delhi and when we get a government in Kerala both of which we will do we will resolve these issues for the people of Vaina Amethi se kai bhaag gai bhai aajate maidan le waan se bo lade unke pita ji lade unke tau swargiya sanjay gandhi lade तो जो उनकी पारंपरिक सीट थी वहाँ से भी लड़ लेते भाई तो हिम्मत कहीं वैसे जो सर्वे आ रहे हैं वायनाड में भी उनके लिए संघर्ष काफ़ी लंबा है क्यों वायनाड गए क्योंकि वो मुस्लिम और क्रिश्चियन डोमिनेटेड है जान लीजिए आप उठा करके रिकॉर्ड देख लीजिए तो राहुल गांधी जी आप क्या क्या बोलते हैं अच्छा लगता है वो मिठी में आ जाते हैं I have my colleague Sunil Prabhu who tracks the Congress for us and also Tanish who tracks uh, Uttar Pradesh for us. Uh, Sunil, to you first, Amethi has been represented by Indira Gandhi, Sanjay Gandhi. Similarly, Rai Bareli has also been a Congress family bastion for long. What is the likely thinking in the family when it comes to fighting for these seats? Or do you think this will also restrict Rahul Gandhi's campaign in other seats if he decides to fight from Amethi? So I think there's uh, no debate uh, here. I think uh, uh, very clearly Rahul Gandhi himself has said that it's his karma bhoomi. Uh, I think we're jumping the gun uh, when we say uh, what has happened to, uh, uh, you know, Amethi and Rai Bareilly for strategic reasons. They have kept it on hold. Uh, but uh, definitely uh, both uh, Rahul Gandhi as well as Priyanka Gandhi are expected to contest out there. It will be a complete surprise in case uh, they decide against it. Uh, what we have been told and... Um, uh, has been always uh, uh, the stated position that both Rahul and Priyanka Gandhi, uh, Priyanka Gandhi taking over from uh, Sonia Gandhi, who's uh, uh, decided to shift to the Rajya Sabha, uh, they will contest uh, from, uh, you know, Amethi and Rai Bareilly. Uh, they are uh, pocket boroughs of the uh, Gandhi family. It's a different matter that they, this time round, it might be a tougher battle. Uh, but uh, uh, it's the fact of the matter is uh, that they believe uh, very strongly uh, that this is, uh, as I said, uh, where their father contested. They have a long history of relationship with the people there, uh, and they hope to reconnect with them, uh, despite uh, the fact that Rahul Gandhi lost the last time round. Thank you for joining us with those details. Over to you, Tanishka, with legislators such as Manoj Pandey and Rakesh Singh coming over to the BJP side uh, during the Raj Raj Sabha polls. Manoj Pandey is somebody who was uh, from Rai Bareilly. Rakesh Singh represented Gauri Ganj. Now, the Congress organization in Amethi and Rai Bareilly also seems to be considerably weakened. Is that something that uh, is a cause of concern for the party? 
Yes, uh, of course, you know, uh, uh, there's, there, there, of course, uh, you know, uh, we, with, we know uh, suspense over both the names, suspense over both the names uh, for Raibareli or Amethi from the Congress side is uh, definitely add-ons uh, um, add to the, you know, the morale of the party work, especially in, in both the districts. But, uh, you know, uh, what we, you know, speaking to the party members and what we hear from the sources, it is very likely that it will be the Gandhi surnames that will be fighting from both Amethi and Rai Bareilly. In fact, the Uttar Pradesh uh, state unit has uh, time and again made, uh, have said it on record that they have kept the proposal that they want uh, someone from the fam Gandhi family to be fighting uh, to be fighting, uh, uh, to, be, to be fighting on Rai Bareilly and the Amethi seat. But of course, you know, uh, Sonia Gandhi uh, stepping, you know, uh, not fighting the Lok Sabha elections this time. Uh, the spotlight completely comes on Priyanka Gandhi. Now, you know, it is very, it, it will be very interesting to see what, uh, what is, what, what will be the, you know, uh, uh, what, how will, how will, how will they play this strategically? Of course, they are not uh, putting out their names this time because of strategic reasons, and it will be very interesting to see how they will, uh, how, how they will go ahead, go ahead with this. Uh, if Priyanka Gandhi, you know, fights uh, from Rai Bareilly, of course, the family seat, Sonia Gandhi has been a member of parliament from there. Uh, uh, it is the Gandhi surname. We, of course, did a ground report from Rai Bareilly as well. It is the Gandhi surname that matters uh, for, uh, for, the Congre for the Congress voters over there. But, right. you know, one interesting fact, Vasudha, I would like to uh, uh, bring, bring to the notice, especially of the audience, that it was in 2019 that Smriti Irani defeated Rahul Gandhi. <coughs> but if you look at the numbers, in 2019, uh, Samajwadi Party and the BSP were in alliance. They, although decided not to fight the Amethi seat, they decided not to put a uh, candidate in the Amethi seat. So it was the it was uh, the vote vote transfer from SP BSP and uh, the higher and the higher turnout, of course, that that went towards the BJP. Because if you look at the numbers. Uh, in 2014, Rahul Gandhi won uh, by a margin of 1 lakh votes. He managed to secure around 4 lakh 8,000 votes. Coming to 2019, he lost by a margin of 55,000 votes, but managed to secure around 4 lakh 13,000 votes. So, right. you know, the vote numbers were, were very much similar. So, it was the vote transfer that took place. Uh, and of course, you know, all eyes on these two seats, Rai Bareilly and Amethi, uh, you know, the so-called bastions of the Congress party. Yes. Right. Thank you, Tanish, for joining us with those details. Politi political dynamics have also changed. Joining us now to discuss all of this is Salman Soz of the Congress party, Tom Badakan of the BJP, and Aditi Fadnes, who's a senior journalist and also a political commentator. Uh, thank you, all of you, for joining me on this show. Mr. Soz, uh, let me come to you first. Mr. Gandhi has often said that he's, some, he's not somebody who will run away from difficult battles. Now, if we fight it's Amethi, it's not going to be easy. You heard Tanish, now BJP and Smithy Dani have won there in 2019. But if he doesn't, that may also not send the right message because, it, you know, it'll also be see, seeing as, you know, he'll also be seen as someone who gives up on traditional support centers. How is the Congress viewing this dilemma or is, do you see this as a, a concerning point? Well, so the, I would say that uh, Rahulji is uh, not only going to uh, uh, be fighting uh, his own elections as member of parliament. He's going to be fighting for the entire party and he's going to be fighting for the entire country. If you look at uh, what he has uh, done in the last few years, uh, he is the most outspoken uh, opposition leader against this government's misdeeds, these 10 years of failure, this uh, now, uh, uh, you know, corruption, unemployment, inflation. So Rahul Ji is out there fighting, uh, fighting the big fight. I mean, he's, he's that voice that is talking about justice for people. And, you know, he's the person who went from uh, Kanyakumari to Kashmir and now from, uh, the, from the east to the west. Which other leader in the country has done that? I mean, which other, which other leader? And I'm sure my old friend Tom, uh, who used to be a part of our team, will, will readily acknowledge that nobody, nobody in, in uh, the country has stood up to the RSS and the BJP like Rahul Ji has. So, quite frankly, uh, wherever he can test from, uh, I think he's going to uh, do really well. I, right. I think uh, it's a foregone conclusion. The reality for us is that he has to 
uh, really uh, uh, inspire the cadres and the voters and supporters throughout the country. And that is what his main task will be. I don't think his main task will be uh, yes. to win his own seat. Mr. Vadakan, would you like to respond to that, you know, this whole understanding that uh, Rahul Gandhi has other responsibilities, bigger responsibilities with respect to party? And you're, you're somebody who worked very closely with the Gandhis in the past. Tell us what is the attitude towards these constitu constituencies uh, of, of, of this Parivar been? And even your party has not decided on Rai Bareilly. What are you thinking, sir? Well, there are certain cards that we'll hold and uh, it'll come out at the appropriate time. Uh, my friend uh, here, being an old friend, he is making a point from the Congress point of view. I mean, uh, I have no uh, issues with what he says. That is what he will say. Now, as a campaigner, he took the flag from north to south, uh, from east to west or west to east, whatever. How many elections did he win? What is the status of the Congress party today? These are questions in public domain. Power centers have changed. And these new power centers cre have created a situation <coughs> where the worker does not know where, how, and why he must support the different candidates being put up. The entire country with this tie-up is imploding. It is not about Rahul Gandhi. One poster that has been put up in Wayanad is, he's Wayanad's boy. I think at the age of 53, I think we should stop calling him a boy. This is about a middle age. We, I mean, it's okay to be saying that, well, he's a boy of Wayanad or he's a boy of a Metis. But then, you know, people of Kerala are very educated people. Now, right. today... He has taken the support of PFI. I am going to analyze more on Kerala. Why is he taken the support of PFI? Uh, sorry, uh, STPI. Why? Because without that support, he is not going to win. And what has the High Court of Kerala said about STPI? They have said that this is a terrorist <laughs> organization, anti-national. And the Congress party says, we didn't ask for the support. They okay. just came... It is like, you know, I am remember, I am remembering Charles Dickens' book uh, in which he says, Barkis is willing. When you are willing, because you know your survival depends on SDPI. Okay, I'll come to that SDPI yeah, question in a bit. Aditi, ma'am, uh, would you, would you, uh, you know, would you explain to us if, uh, you know, Rahul Gandhi choosing Vainad again, does this also strengthen the perception that Congress is transforming itself into a south-focused party, you know, you already have Karnataka and Telangana against, you know, under the government. Himachal government seems very shaky. Is this, uh, you know, bad optics when he chooses only Vainat uh, and uh, this re reliance on winnability? And do you think if Rahul does not fight from Amethi, uh, do you think that he'll be seen as somebody who's shying away from a tough fight? Let's uh, put the question on its head and say if uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi does not fight from Gujarat, is he shying away from Gujarat? He most certainly is not. Uh, so why would that be true of Narendra Modi and not true of Rahul Gandhi? Uh, frankly, I mean, whether he fights from Vayanad or he fights from anywhere else, he's fighting for the Lok Sabha, uh, uh, which is, you know, Vayanad is still part of India. Uh, he's fighting as an MP. Right. So, and... After all, even the BJP concedes that winnability is a factor. Hmm. So if he feels that he is unable to win from Amethi, uh, all these emotional factors like family, seat and borough and all that, uh, okay, it's important. But uh, I would not say that that uh, means that he's, uh, uh, you know, uh, turning tail and running from somewhere. He's fighting practically from the place that that uh, in real politics, he feels he can win. So, I mean, the same logic that applies to uh, BJP candidates being faded from all over the place applies to him. In point, winnability is the same for the BJP and Congress, and maybe one party cannot be held responsible for, for not look, not taking it seriously. But, Mr. Soz, you know, I, I have also seen Amethi and Rai Bareilly, and, you know, there's this perception that Baramati still belongs to the Pavars or, you know, Main Puri is still with the Yadavs. Do you think Mr. the Gandhi Parivar could have done a lot more when it comes to development, administration, and governance, and development of these places, you know, and uh, even um, probably then the situation could have been slightly better for them? 
You, you know, um, uh, just on this issue, because this is a very interesting uh, uh, kind of conversation about how much uh, Lok Sabha MPs do in their constituencies. But, you know, one, one could just turn this question to the BJP, which has run UP for such a long time, uh, and other political parties that have run BJP, uh, UP for a, such a long time. The Congress, as you know, has not been in power in Uttar Pradesh for almost three decades. The question is, what have they done for these, uh, 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 these constituencies? Why is it that after so many years uh, that the BJP, I think the BJP has uh, ruled uh, Uttar Pradesh for almost 15 years in the last, maybe, maybe more than that, in the last three decades. Should we not be asking the BJP what they've done for the people of uh, MIT and for uh, Rai Bareilly and other places? So I think it is unfair, you know, because ultimately l local development ultimately happens because of the uh, the 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 state uh, uh, you know state governments right. and clearly in the case of these constituencies maybe because of vendetta maybe because of whatever uh, the uh, the governments have been derelict they've not done their job now that's one part of it hmm. but at the same time in Raibareli and Ameti right the, the family is much loved hmm. and you know yeah. think about it we have not yeah, declared Mr. Can, can you can yet. you can you respond to that I'm, I'm no, really I, I, running I, I, short of time me, I want the last me, word from Aditi ma'am so uh, Mr. Varakan could you quickly respond on this the you know responsibilities and you know abilities of an MP are very limited so that's what uh, Mr. Soz is saying would you like to respond to that sir? Well uh, 60 years in counting nothing has been done and now I mean for for, few, for a few years they've been out of power what have they done please visit the constituency of Amiti uh, Salmanji you will find Tom, and Uttar you Pradesh Tom, is some you place guys that you is not okay, okay, let him respond. Tom, do you not rule the state? Okay, okay Mr. Sir, let him respond. Not responsibility where you want, you can't believe what Uttar Pradesh is today. Please visit Uttar Pradesh. You but will then find why are you the complaining about a meeting? And okay. then why are you complaining I'm about a meeting? Please because visit a meeting. Okay. The kind of okay, last word from Aditi, ma'am. You know, Congress focusing on South. What happened. does this mean for the BJP? That is also trying very hard to make inroads into the South of India. How do you see this battle? Well, I think BJP is doing pretty well in trying to make inroads into the South, which is, and the operative word here is trying. Uh, I will be very surprised if they uh, do not expand not just their vote share, but also their seat share in uh, South India. Uh, but the fact is that in the past also Congress has has had roots in the south, whether in alliance with uh, with re regional parties or on its own. And uh, I think this uh, election will be a turning point uh, uh, more for the BJP than for the Congress. Right. Thank you all of you for joining me on this show. Spotlight on Amethi and Rai Bareilly, even as uh, nomination of Rahul Gandhi and Vainad is all done.